Hello everyone, it's John and today we are looking at a rather well unusual role-playing game and it's based in the uh, good lord what is it the uh, Robert E. Howard world of Conan or Conan depends how you want to call it I uh, my son has that name so uh, look it yes it's Conan or Conan the role-playing na game name yeah <laughs> game yes um, look it's in my collection because I collect anything to do with this particular genre so I don't think we've ever played it I got it because I like the universe so let's go have a look at what is in the box right we are looking at Conan the role-playing game and this game is in my collection because look I love anything from Robert E Howard and I love Conan or Conan however you'd like to pronounce it uh, I pronounce it Conan because, uh, well, that's the way I do. So, uh, look, this game I have, I confess, never role-played. So, uh, let's have a look at what's in uh, this box. It's uh, got a rule book that is, I guess, a little unusual in the fact that it's only, it's a shorter, like usually the TSR rule books are like 64 pages in length this one is half the length it's only 30 31 32 pages so uh, i'm not sure how this system actually runs as i said i have uh, not played this system so uh, as you can see, the uh, artwork is, uh, as always, is for the time is is quite good. I I like the uh, I like the style, and it's once again familiar artwork for anybody who uh, can remember the early days of TSR. Yeah, the the I guess the stable of artists that they had. So uh, I am. I'm going to just potter across the other side of the table and uh, continue to work my way through this through this book. So uh, there's magic. As I said, I've not played the role-playing game, so I have no idea what it actually entails and how it works. But it does look like it's perhaps deviated from the standard. Um, the t standard TSR mould, perhaps? I don't know. Look, if anybody's actually played it, look, leave a comment and let me know. But, because uh, I can't really say. As I said, I bought this purely because I am a Conan enthusiast. So that is the rule book. Then there is this book here, which is really nothing, nothing more than a glossary. So the world of Hyboria, and it is basically, a, I guess, an encyclopedia, and it covers all, I guess, the the major kingdoms and uh, the areas, Aquilonia, and uh, and that, and it covers. It tells you about um, the particular places. I can't read this upside down, so um, it tells you about the locations and the countries within Hyboria. So it's really good if you're just looking for a basic understanding of uh, the world of uh, Conan. So it is, is really good. Uh, there are better role-playing systems that have now come along. I bought, uh, there was the Die 20 system that came along afterwards, which I invested fairly heavily in, uh, which is which is really good. 
and I think who is it? Is it Modipus Games? I think have now got one currently. I think it's two die twenty. I think system, but don't quote me on that because, as I say, I'm well known for talking out of my ass, so I never script anything. So there are a couple of more recent role playing games dealing with Conan that uh, have a, certainly a lot more information uh, out there. So uh, yeah, anyway, so that's the. That is that one. And then there is... Now, this has got me confused. Now, I have no idea whether or not these um, laminated maps were standard in the game or whether or not Lunacy took me and I laminated them. So if somebody could tell me if that was what happened, because I really can't tell. Because it's, I don't know, I think it's too good a job. So let me know. So the, uh, I don't know whether or not, I have a feeling, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, I have a feeling the map, I think, has been cut up. Yeah, I think the map's been cut up, I think. Yeah. So <laughs> let me know what I've stuffed up there, because I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, then we've got the character folio, which is the character sheet. And they give you one already filled out for Conan. And then there's some blanks that are there. And then we have a master reference sheet. And then there is this uh, reference guide. Which, uh, oh, David Cook. Which is here which is uh, talents and weaknesses. As I said, I really don't know what the game, actually the role-playing game entails, but uh, all sorts of bits and pieces that are here. So there you go. That is my copy of Conan, the role-playing game, from TSR. Oh! It's pretty hard, you know, bending over and having to do a reduction when you're an old man. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Look, I'm having to have a whinge now. So, look, there you go. There it is. Thank you very much for watching. So, till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.